Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, we'll be doing a review for a brand new series from DC Comics. This is Batgirl number one from the All In line over at DC Comics. This book is written by Tate Bromble with art by Takeshi Miyazawa, Mike Spicer, and colors letters by Tom Napolitano. This is part one of a six part story. Uh, and I'm very excited because I had not read a, a Batgirl Cassie book just all on her own, Cassandra all on her own. Uh, I don't know if ever or even for a long time. Uh, so this part is very exciting. Uh, let me give you a quick synopsis, then we'll talk about the specific book. Hold on to your seats, clutch your pearls, and rejoice in celebration because Cassandra Kane is taking center stage in her first solo Bad Girl series. That's probably why I've never read one uh, in nearly two decades. Oh, never mind. There are some out there. Uh, when a deadly group of assassins shows up to kill Cassandra, Lady Shiva uh, comes to the rescue, and they must put their complicated past aside, work together as mother and daughter to ensure to make it out alive. Unfortunately, things are never as easy as they seem. Cass must embark on a jaw-dropping martial arts-filled adventure in her quest for truth and justice and maybe revenge. It's a Batgirl book like you've never seen before. Uh, join us as we dive into the psyche of Gotham's deadliest fighters. So this is very exciting. Uh, multiple reasons. Tate Brumble really enjoys his writing, uh, you know, whether it's some creator-owned stuff or some of the DC stuff that he's been working on, uh, including the Green Lantern Dark Elseworld story. That's a lot of fun. Uh, like I said, I really like the character of Cassandra Cain. Uh, and I think, especially in the Batgirl persona, uh, you know, we have the Batgirls book and we she's been around. I've read a lot of stuff with her in it in the last few years. Uh, but this is the first time uh, she has her own series in a little while. So, uh, like I said, very exciting stuff. Anytime Lady Shiva shows up, like not only do we get the complicated dynamic of mother daughter and them trying to figure that how that stuff works out, uh, Tay Brahma really makes sure to highlight that tension between them. Uh, we also know that Cassandra, one of her abilities is that she can read uh, physical body movements and, and from there gather intent and you know whether people are lying, telling the truth, and of course how they're gonna fight. Uh, so this makes it very exciting just to see how this is applied to the book. Now, uh, Miyasawa's art is perfect for this book. It's the great mixture of like the dynamic stuff you want from the fight, uh, the really cool character designs that you want to see. And then, of course, just uh, kind of taking things to the next level when it comes to having these uh, kind of non-verbal even communication between the characters. Uh, it all real works really well. Tom Napolitano also, you know, putting in just the little boxes where they need to be. Uh, I'd love to see a script of this one because there's a lot of stuff that if you don't pay attention, you're just going to think it's a really cool comic. But like once you kind of dive deep a little bit into into the book, like you start noticing things like, oh, there's so much extra here. Uh, I love the the enemies that have showed up for now. Uh, they seem to be just kind of like these run-of-the-mill uh, other ninjas that are, are chasing down Lady Shiva. Uh, but we don't know why exactly. We still need to find all that out. So on top of this, we have a great mystery. So yeah, this has been a fantastic book to get into. Uh, I don't know how long it'll last. Hopefully it'll be something that we can read for a while. But at least we're in for a ride for six issues. And I'm very excited, uh, especially anytime Lady Shiva shows up. Like she is one of the most if not the most deadly fighter in in the dc universe uh so that's always really really fun to see so if you picked up uh batgirl let me know what cover did you pick up did you because i saw a really cool foil uh at the shop and i really wanted to pick it up but uh you know this 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 a cover really caught out to me so i'm uh, very excited for that uh as always thank you for watching everyone remember to share like subscribe Hit the bell so you know when we go live, that is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.